Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a foundation review and it's gonna be an affordable drugstore foundation. I know how you guys love to see my foundation reviews and right now is the time for foundation reviews because I literally feel like there's a bajillion foundations that just got released all at the same time. So today we're doing a drugstore foundation. I feel like I wanna do like every Friday foundation reviews. You guys let me know what you think of that. But yeah, today we're gonna be reviewing a Maybelline foundation, which I have on right now. And then you guys will see me applying the foundation and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we get into this, go ahead and subscribe and leave your comments down below because it definitely helps my video get out there more. And let's go ahead and get into it. So today we are here with the brand new Maybelline foundation. This is their Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup. It does have SPF 50 which is super duper high for a foundation I ain't mad at it it's protecting your skin so I'm here for it okay there are 16 shades to select from with this foundation which is definitely not that high in my opinion I believe they will expand it if it does really well because you know the shade range isn't that amazing but Maybelline is known for having really great shade range so you know we're gonna we're gonna give it some time so this foundation has one fluid ounce or 30 ml and it retails for $15.99 on the Maybelline um, Canadian website but if you do go into Walmart I believe it's a little bit cheaper than that I think I got mine for maybe like 14 or 13 dollars to be honest so depending on when you buy it if you go to shoppers drug mart it's going to be a lot more expensive than if you go to your local walmart so i always shop at walmart because they have the best prices so here is what the packaging looks like and honestly i really really like the way that this looks i love how tiny it is it's super compact easy to travel with and i love the color scheme that they have going on also really like that i can see the shade in the tube and it's not like a frosted tube or anything like that you can clearly see the shade in here and it is a squeezy tube so i do like that a lot so this foundation has spf 50 like I said which is awesome if you want that protection within your makeup um it didn't really give me flashback to be honest so the shade that I went ahead and picked up is shade 228 soft tan and it's what I have on I think it's a really really good match it has this beautiful golden yellow undertone and it just matched my skin really well especially my neck area if you look the undertone is perfect when I do first apply it looks a tad just a tad bit lighter but once I have my bronzer my you know highlight blush all of the makeup on it really flows nicely onto my neck and my chest area so I really really like this shade and the way it applies it applies very nicely the formula has this very creamy um liquidy formula like it's that in between where it's not too liquidy and it's not too thick it's nice and creamy and it's easy to apply i do like to use a brush like a dense brush where's my brush where's my brush okay i don't know where my brush is you guys will see it in the demo portion <laughs> So I like to use a nice dense brush with this foundation because I feel like the coverage really stays on the skin rather than a sponge. With a sponge, I feel like it sucks up some of that coverage. If you want more of a lighter coverage, then go with the sponge. If you want something a little bit more on the medium side, I would do a brush for sure now this does say it's a full coverage foundation I have to be honest and say I don't really agree with that I feel like this is more on the light to medium side it feels and looks very very natural on the skin and when I do apply it, I still see like my freckles peeking through a little bit of texture peeking through so it gives the skin that natural look that you want for like an everyday wear um, I do feel like it is slightly buildable but to a complete full coverage I don't think it goes that far especially if you have a lot of acne scar a lot of hyperpigmentation it's gonna be a little bit difficult to cover that up but redness evening out your entire skin tone it looks really really nice on the skin um, I have a lot of redness around my nose area around my eye area a little hyperpigmentation under my eyes with the dark circles and around my mouth and as you guys can see it looks really nice and even but in the most natural way and it 
feels super lightweight on the skin so this is definitely a foundation that I can see myself wearing on a regular basis and not being too heavy clogging up my pores it looks and feels very natural on the skin it's definitely a little different from their fit me line I find this one a little bit more creamier a little bit more lightweight on the skin Skin and like very everyday appropriate it is it's honestly it's beautiful for the drugstore it is a beautiful foundation and the price point is really amazing to be honest with you guys because look at this and I did go ahead and wear this before so I know that it lasts really really well I wore this for about uh, nine hours and my skin and my makeup everything still looked really intact the only thing that I had going on was a little bit of shininess in the t-zone area which I blotted with some blotting paper and it was completely fine so this is definitely something that lasts really well on my skin and I do get quite oily right now in the t-zone area because it is summertime but nothing kind of broke apart and like started to disappear on the skin everything still stayed intact I just got a little shiny now this foundation I would probably recommend probably recommend it for all skin types honestly I feel like if you are oily you can definitely pull it off as long as you are prepping your skin really well with a little bit more of a mattifying or silicone based uh, primer you are setting your makeup and doing a little mattifying setting spray and you are good to go I don't find this overly dewy to the point that someone with oily skin will not be able to wear it and those of you with normal to dry skin I think this would be beautiful because it does feel quite high hydrating on the skin it's not like a matte foundation and it's definitely not a super dewy it's a very nice like in between satin to dewy kind of combination it's really beautiful on the skin so I can see a lot of different skin types using this foundation and being able to wear it now if you have excessive oily skin you might really want to go a little bit heavier on your powder for me I definitely have to powder this down it is not self-setting in my opinion so I do powder all all of it and then I'm good to go for the rest of the day with this foundation I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of this video now I'm going to show you guys me applying the foundation and also a little snippet of uh, how I got this makeup look because I am like mm, mm, in love with it and I have the shade soft tan when I did wear it, it looked pretty good in terms of the shade match so we're gonna go ahead and demo but before I do it I'm going to prep my skin I just have my skincare on and now I'm gonna do a little primer I'm just thinking which one I want to do so I'm gonna grab this Ole Henriksen banana bright primer right over here and just gonna go ahead and apply that all over the skin so if you like the Ole Henriksen um, banana bright line like the eye cream and the moisturizer you are going to pretty much enjoy this primer it feels really similar to the moisturizer it's a little bit thicker in my opinion but they all smell so good and feel sm so good on the skin mm. Refresh. with this foundation I do like to use a brush because I feel like it gives me a little bit more coverage than a sponge I might go in later with a sponge just to like even everything out and make sure there's no lines or anything like that but here is the texture of that foundation so you guys can see the consistency it's going down the back of my arm right there just like that so it's not thick it's not too liquidy it's like right in between which I like so I'm gonna do one side of my face so you guys can see the difference and this is like my skin without any makeup on yes I am kind of having issues with my skin lately just trying out a lot of products I have um, tiny little breakouts and I have some redness going on so this is what we're working with um sometimes the lighting honestly covers all of that up but trust me my skin is not like in the best condition at the moment so to blend everything out i'm going to go in with my morphe e31 brush let's go ahead and blend i like a nice buffing brush that keeps the coverage there but smooths everything out and I think this brush is so good for that. So initially when I put it on, it looks a little bit light. But honestly, once I do like my bronzer and all that good stuff, 
it looks like a really great match. And I am a little bit tanned because it is summer. Here is my skin with one layer of that foundation. I'm getting really close to you guys. And you guys can see that everything has evened out. It looks really natural and skin-like. It's really, really nice product. It's super light. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin or anything like that. But it's still pretty tacky. Um, you do have to let this uh, settle down uh, a little bit more than my usual foundations or I have to go in with a powder because I don't feel like like it's self-setting in my opinion. So I am going to apply a little concealer on top and do powder so you guys can see how it looks like with powder. So I'm going in with my Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Cashew. No, this one is Latte. So let's go ahead and set. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and this is a G37 brush from Morphe, which I've been using constantly. And I'm just going to go ahead and set first my under eye area. I'm being pretty generous with this powder, but we're going to wipe away any excess. And I take that powder really close to the corners of my nose because they that area tends to get pretty oily. And when I don't have too much powder on my brush, then I kind of go all over the place where I need powder. So here's what my skin is looking like after we did our foundation, our concealer, and our powder. And it still looks really natural, but it's a little bit more matte. It was definitely more dewy when we first put the foundation on. And I'm just... I'm liking it. It feels nice and set now. It's super, still super lightweight. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with my final thoughts. And for my eyes, I'm going to be using <sighs> Jackie Ina's palette. Guys, guys, I can't stop putting this. It is, she, she did it. She did it. Okay, I'm just here to tell you guys she did that. So I'm going to be using this on my eyes. And if you guys want the full review and comparison video, then click up here and I will leave it in the description box. <laughs> So while my lashes get a little bit tacky, I'm using the Siren Flare from House of Lashes. This is part of their new collection. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I bought this new um, lip liner from NYX Cosmetics. This is part of their Suede Matte Lip Liner line, and it's called Cold Brew. It looks like it would be like the perfect, not too warm, not too cool tone shade. I finished my Makeup Forever Limitless Brown. That's my favorite favorite lip liner so I want to try this one out and it looks really promising And then for the lips, I'm taking this gloss from Charlotte Tilbury in Rosy Glow. This 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 is like my go-to gloss right now. It is so good. 
it looks pretty on all eye makeups. Look at that. Mm, love it. So here I am with my makeup all done and this is what the foundation is looking like. It's been about, I want to say an hour to two hours since I applied. Yeah, two hours because I took a little break and all that good stuff. But it's been about two hours since I applied the foundation and here she is. She is sitting. Um, I love it. I love, love, love the way that this looks so natural and lightweight on the skin. It's not cakey. It's not heavy, but it definitely provides the coverage that I need, especially if I'm going to be wearing it on a regular basis. It's just not too much. So I love the way all the other makeup products go on top of it. And it just looks so, so good. Like, honestly, I haven't been excited about a drugstore foundation in a really long time. Like my favorite ones are kind of oldies, but goodies. This I think Maybelline did a bomb, bomb job with this one, especially if you want something more on the natural side. It is absolutely stunning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw something cool and new. And um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of this foundation. Have you tried it out? And I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!